it's crazy, bro. Like, we share our rides on Uber, we share our homes with strangers on Airbnb, and our daily life on social media. But we don't share our textbooks amongst each other on campus. So like, we are just like, man, it's so, so expensive. And like, I still remember the first day I came to the US. First day I came to the US, so scared, so nervous, but more, it's just so excited. And I remember I came up there in front of Miller, and in front of Miller they were having the barbecue. It was old school Goldie people, Dre, Mateos, Raquel, Gigi, Kwame. And I, I got there and I had nothing. Like I didn't have a blanket, I had no pillow, nothing. Nothing, like nothing to cook, nothing to sleep. So what they did is, all of them just provided me everything they had. So I didn't have to worry about anything. So it was right away this family feeling, right away this feeling of sharing. This sharing economy was right there. And that's how we were able to like transmit it to textbooks as well. Like we, we share textbooks amongst the team. But at one point, obviously, it's annoying to have one textbook for 10 people. And yeah, that's how we came up with the idea, hey, let's share textbooks on campus. And Goldie is the perfect place to start it because everyone is so interconnected here. Everyone is so close. So it's, it's, it's like nothing asking some, so, someone else of the school for a favor. So that's exactly what we did. We asked people, hey guys, can you help us out? Let's help each other, let's help each other out. And that's how it's spread here. So Goldie was the very first school to, to launch this application and it was successfully launched now after half a year. And it enabled us to to uh, launch it at eight other schools now. And from now on, you have two more people who walk past the hallway and say, hey, how are you to each other? And that's contagious. Friends. We got that at Goldie, but imagine that at every big school in the country, that everyone just walks past the hallway, hey, how are you, hey, let's go for a coffee, uh, uh, uh. It's not, it's not the book that you save money, it's the connection you have right away. Because nobody cares about making $50 profit. No, you're gonna get rid of the book for 20 bucks, make some money, and help out someone. There's a catfish on the smart students at. I bought my English book off of smart students, and when I went to get it, it was a fake book. Someone stole my twenty dollars, and I'm broke as it is. Someone stole your fake textbook? Yeah. Ah, I'm pretty sure it just happened to me right now. Did you use Venmo? I did. Why would you use Venmo? All right, guys, calm down. You can make it through any class here at Goldie without a textbook. So. Here's the app. I have an account on it. I don't buy any textbooks because I don't use them. But I admire what Shaheen and Arthur are doing here. That's why I'm gonna help catch this catfish. In. Business is all about networking, and helping them out here can lead to opportunities later. So I'll start by interviewing those who have already been catfished. So basically I need a textbook for my English class, so I went to Smart Students app, and I was looking, I found this guy who had it, he told me to meet me at the atrium, and I had the money all set up and go meet him, and he ended up having to find a textbook, and class starts tomorrow, so. So I've used Smart Students before to use a book, and then this week my new class started, so I looked on it for a new book, and the guy asked me to use Venmo. Why would you even use Venmo for this? I don't know. Alvaro, what happened to you, bro? I need to get to the bottom. Nah, not now, brother. I'm going to see Arthur and Shaheen. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, bro, I venmo him and everything. He just didn't hit me back up, didn't do nothing. Lost my money right there and then. Couldn't do nothing. All right, with the evidence I've gathered, I'm going to security. We're gonna catch this catfisher. I'm on my way to Darian's room. Whatever you need, he has it. He has all the stuff. Watch this. Yo, Darian. Can I get some binoculars, bro? For what? Uh, I got some investigating to do. Yeah, follow me. Yeah, I got small, big, I got night vision. I even got the pirates when they do like that. What you want? Uh, regular size. You sure? Yeah. All right. Hear about that catfisher? Uh, nah. Oh, well, I'm gonna catch him. Just make sure you get her back to me. Of course. Hurry up, we're almost there. Alles klar, dann muss das ja jetzt funktionieren. Warte, wo hast du jetzt den Namen drin? 
Ich hab den. Ich hab den hier drin. Warte. Die confirm mal und dann mal gucken. Okay, mal schauen, was das jetzt wird. Oh, ja, jawohl. Perfekt. Wie ein neuer Headboard. Oh, jemand hat gerade genockt. Check mal, wer es ist. Um die Uhrzeit. Eine Sekunde. Hey, Shahin. Hallo? We have a problem. What's the problem? There's a catfisher on this Mars Students app. A catfish? Mm hmm. Someone stole my money by using a fake account. One second. Wuda! Eisenschmied! Mach dich ran, mein Freund! What's up? Alles klar! Let's go, guys. You guys can take a seat. Guys, okay. do you want some yogurt while you while you're waiting? Yeah, I'll take yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Got it. I'm going to check the books posted. Cross-reference them with your classes. From there on, I can guarantee you guys, we'll find the catfisher. Okay, good, you're here. Had a great idea about catching the catfisher. Put a book on the Smart Students app. I'm gonna watch him do it with these binoculars. Don't worry about that, that's nothing. Is that the mascot? I think I found him. Bullshit. I don't know how people do this nine to five nonsense when I'm out here grinding and found this smart students app. Like, you sell textbooks on it, but like, I don't know. I just like took a picture of the cover and like cut out the pages of the inside of the book. So like, when they got it, there was nothing. And then I used the money to buy Fortnite because I like Fortnite. Adam, of all people, I know him. He's like a friend. I can't believe this. I don't really like Adam. If I'm honest, I expected the cat Fisher to be him. He always takes the last french fries in the cafeteria. He's not a great guy. Like Adam of all people. And doing it for Fortnite? He's probably not even that good at it. Oh well. I guess all the hopeless people at Goldie can stop being catfish now. You can say that we caught him. I, I didn't catch him necessarily myself, but I, I was there and I, and I saw him do it. So, you know, I kind of did catch the culprit. Jesus Christ!